The center would not only house juvenile offenders, but also act as a shelter for children in need of protection, as decided by the Child Protection Authority. The span ranges from toddler age to 18 years. With capacity to house 75 persons, management of the facility are hoping that the numbers are around 25 to ensure efficiency. Melissa Gilvey has been tasked with managing the center. She says at the moment they are getting internal procedures and security ready to meet required standards. Length of stay can be from three months up to three years. Ogilvy says in making that determination, several factors will come into play. Not just offenders will be at the center. We, have, we will have young people who are in need of care and protection. So those who are hard to place and the Child Protection Authority has deemed that they need a secure facility to contain them and to keep them safe you know, and because they are at risk to themselves or, or the society. But they, that must have to go through the court. They will have to apply for an order through the court. And then the other route for the juvenile offenders is through the, the magistrate's court or maybe even the high court. And the magistrate will, de will determine that this um, young person is a good candidate for it because um, maybe they are repeat offenders. We've tried community-based programs to rehabilitate them and it hasn't worked and, it, and, it, and it's based on the offense as well. Residents at the facility will receive counseling service and be enrolled into educational programs including CXC completion and other vocational opportunities. She says the long-term vision is to meet the holistic needs of all who will be housed at the Grand Bacolet Center. We're not a prison even though the perception is it's, it's a prison and so really and truly it's for the young persons to change their, their thinking, the, the way of uh, their behavior, the, the challenge in behavior and also to, to work with families so that because a lot of our young people are coming to us and may be in a life of crime because of peer per parental supervision, so neglect, they've experienced some type of abuse in their past or they've been rejected by, you know, a primary caregiver they have some emotional issues and so so it's really for uh, it's an opportunity for us to to do right by our young people and and so that they're in our society and and, and contribute it. The Ministry of Social Development and other partners are hoping that those receiving treatment in the future will not be repeat offenders as there will be varying degrees of punishment for those who choose to steadily violate the law. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.